This thing is so very awesome. I love it. The camera's just, I mean, look at that. Straight out of the camera. It's totally impressive. So I do need to warn you, this video, it's not gonna be a happy one. A lot of what I wanna share here on this channel is stories about things I've experienced, things I've been a part of during weddings. This story that I'm gonna share today is a really powerful experience, but it's, it's, not, it's not a happy one. But I wanna tell you about Carissa and Tim. Carissa came to me in July, I believe, of 2016, uh, inquiring about me photographing and videoing her wedding. I met with Carissa, we talked for a while, and felt like we were gonna have a really good um, working relationship with each other. So we decided to go ahead and, and, and work together. And Carissa had found out about me partly through a mutual friend of hers and my wife's, who my wife worked with. So several months go by, and around November of 2016, I get a call from Carissa wanting to set up their engagement photo session. So we got that scheduled for, I think it was mid-November. We met downtown one afternoon during the week. It was cloudy, the light just wasn't behaving like I wanted it to, and we were losing light quick. And while I did get uh, some good photos, I really wanted to get them more images than I thought I'd be able to provide from that evening. So we talked about it and we decided that we were gonna do a, another session. You know, all three of our schedules were pretty hectic, but we found a day that would work for all three of us and we decided to go back out and do some more photos that day. We decided to meet back at Furman University, which is a local college here in town. Tim actually worked for Furman, so we got around real easily, had a golf cart that we could drive around and get to the places that we wanted to get to. The light was perfect, it was sunset, I got some gorgeous photos, maybe some of the best photos I think I've gotten at Furman. And we just had a lot of fun, got to meet Tim a little bit more. Uh, this was probably the third, the third time I think that I met Carissa. So we all just hung out. My wife was with me, kind of assisting, and we had a good time. About one week after that, this would have been early December. In fact, I remember uh, specifically it was my birthday uh, in December, and I was at home taking a day off, and I get a call from my wife and she says, you're not gonna believe this. Tim passed away. And I was like, what? Tim passed away? I didn't know if I even heard her correctly. And, and she said, yeah, her mutual friend that was also friends with Carissa had come into work upset that morning after hearing about what had happened. It was, it was just such an odd feeling for me. I mean, I didn't know, I'd only met Tim twice and Carissa three times, but you know, two weeks ago, I was with them, taking their photos and talking with them. So I let a couple days go by and uh, I just sent Carissa a simple text, nothing business related at all or anything. I just simply said, hey, I, I heard about what happened to Tim. I'm really sorry, please let me know if there's anything me and my family can do for you. We found out when the visitation was for Tim and uh, I went to that and visited with Carissa and her parents for a little while. And, and um, one of the comments I remember getting that night, uh, it was either from her mom or her dad, I believe, was that how grateful they were that I was able to take those photos of them just a few weeks before, because those ended up being the last photos that Tim and Carissa were in together, and the last photos Tim um, were in at all. Fast forward a couple of months, into January of 2017. Their wedding was scheduled for, I believe, June of 2017. So sometime in January or February maybe, Carissa reached out to me and wanted to talk about an idea she had. We ended up meeting for coffee and talked for a while and just caught up a little bit, wanted to see how she was doing. And she told me that she really wanted to celebrate Tim's life in a special way. And for her, that was to continue on with the day she had planned with him, uh, her wedding day. Um, she had already had her dress purchased, she had some vendors already uh, committed, and she thought it would be really special to just go ahead 
and proceed with that day in honor of Tim and make it more of a memorial and a, a celebration of Tim's life. Fast forward to June and we're at that day and you know me and my wife arrive and I've got a, a second shooter with me too and we're just covering all the moments and it's it's just it's different I mean it was different you know the girls were getting ready Carissa was getting her dress on I was getting photos of her and her dress and her bridesmaids getting ready and they were all smiling and having fun but you know everybody knew what that day um, was going to be about and you know you could feel that you know in the atmosphere but everybody was still happy and excited about being together and spending the day together we all drove out to Furman and took some family photos some group photos with her and her bridesmaids and again it was still very um, it was mostly a pleasant environment people were still happy um, smiling you know it was a big group of people and uh, spirits were high after those group shots, we let pretty much everybody go except Carissa. Carissa wanted to get a few photos of just her by herself. Some photos of her just kind of in thought, thinking about Tim. And um, it, was, it, was, it was a moment that I was trying to be really delicate about because Carissa was getting more emotional at this point, thinking about Tim. And while I tried to pose her a little bit, and help out a little bit there. I mainly just sort of let her experience what she was gonna experience and try to photograph that as best I could. The next part of the day was probably the most humbling for me. Carissa wanted to go out to the cemetery to get a few photos with Tim's um, headstone, his gravesite. Never in a million years would I ever imagine being in that situation. And frankly, never in a million years would Carissa have imagined being in that situation. But here we were in a cemetery in her wedding dress. And a photo that will probably stay with me for the rest of my life is one I took of Carissa walking down the aisle to Tim's grave. I've had a few other moments like that where, as the photographer, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable. I feel like I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be doing this. This is such a private, personal moment, and I, I shouldn't be here. But Carissa wanted me there and wanted those moments to be captured and those memories to be captured. So for that, I was glad that I was able to be there and get the images that I did. Probably one of the most unique elements of that day was at the end. Tim was apparently very much into Halloween and to horror movies and, and things like that. So Carissa felt that a, a very special tribute to him would be for her and her bridesmaids and, and whoever else wanted to, to kind of dress up in a little bit of, of zombie makeup and go out to the cemetery that evening and get some photos taken, some horror type photos, and uh, release some candles into the air. For the outsider looking in, you hear that, and that may sound a little odd to you, but Carissa is so filled with love for Tim that to me it was, it was so special that she picked this unique way to celebrate him because she knew that he would he would love it and who cares what anybody else thinks she knew that this would be something that if he were there and he were experiencing it he would just love it so much and so i think that's awesome i think that's amazing that that she was strong enough to be able to do that and just have fun with her friends that evening while still remembering him and really paying tribute to him